Come on, buddy has a kick. Let me show y'all. Look at this. You see this concrete block right here? Ow. Concrete block. See that ass? You know why that ass is on there? Now, I put this block up here February the, no, January the 9th, and today's February the 13th. Now let me show y'all something. See that? That I hit the camera with? That's about three tenths of an inch of ass. Let me show you some more here. We got three limbs of falling and everything down in here. We have just come out of a major ice storm. And uh, thank goodness we didn't lose power. I scared to death we would. There is ass all over the place. You know, it's nice to look at, but when you got to live in it, and get out and actually travel in it, pretty bad. But now I'll tell you this. The road department in this area has done a top-notch job. They have kept the road. I ain't had no trouble. I mean, it's been a little slick here and there, but, you know, a lot of places you couldn't even travel. Well, they've kept the road in good shape up here, and I have to give them that because I'm telling you what, these guys have worked hard up in here. Now, this hill over here where I, I come down here, I actually got my car down here today, but I've been walking about a half a mile. They've been putting sand on it, right? Well, what happens was they put sand on it, it would get some more freezing rain, and it was like sand in a picture frame. And that ain't good. <laughs> you look at it, and it's clear, and you say, well, it's got sand on it. I'll be all right. You know, that's what I thought when I come walking over it last night at 9 o'clock at night. I'm all, I fell all the way down the hill, you know what I'm saying? But, so yeah, that concrete box up there, that duct tape, let me show you something. If I can get my camera to turn. That duct tape right there, that is some awesome stuff. Now, I'm telling you, I hear, I hear stuff falling. I hope some of this ice falls off these trees. We're supposed to get another Sunday night. Supposed to be even worse than nothing. So, I hope they miss it. As long as they miss it, I'll be in good shape. I had to fix my camera. Sorry about that. Yeah, they don't know whether we're going to get ice or snow. I'm hoping we get snow. Ice would be catastrophic. I still hear stuff falling. Either that or it's Sasquatch down there. I can't get my camera set right. Might be Sasquatch running around down there. I don't know. He's probably in a cave somewhere all warm. I'm out here in this. It's been 28 degrees for three days. And here I am out here in the middle of this 28 degrees doing a, doing a video. But that's okay because I really enjoy it. I like playing stuff like this, because you, know, you don't see ice storms every day. We ain't had one since 2015, I believe it was. As long as we don't lose power, oh well. And, uh, you know, keep the roads pretty clean, which they are. They're doing a good job. Oh, man, what a week. It's been a week, ain't it? We've had ice, we've had snow, we've had sleet. I've had a ghost. Yeah, I got up the other day and walked in there and was fixing me something to eat. I could have swore I seen somebody standing right beside of me. And I turned around and I said, yeah. They put nothing there. So. And I've walked over this hill three times so far. Now, I ain't been down through here at midnight. Because usually around midnight, if you walk down this hill, you hear something run past you. I remember the first time I did it. I was coming over the hill and I had three Walmart bags in each hand. It snowed about six inches. And I was coming down here to do something. And I heard it run past me. This was midnight now. Nothing. And the moon was out. And you could see everything. Well, they've been, probably pretty much everybody on this road has heard this thing. If you walk down the road at a certain time of night, it'll run past you. I heard it. I'm glad I did. Now, a lot of people don't believe that stuff. But now listen, I heard it plain as day. I've heard people singing in my house that wasn't there. Clear as a bell. My whole family heard it one time. And uh, people's been, uh, we've heard people holler, say people's names, and uh, I mean, just plain as day. And I enjoy it. <laughs> that, gets my, that gets me pumped up. I'm like, oh man, action. But I like to run up on a Sasquatch or something, you know. I was walking down the hill the other day and I got about halfway down there. It's pitch black dark, me with my little camera, and I'm thinking. There's a pack of coyotes down here somewhere. Maybe I can catch them on film. Of course, I wouldn't want to run up on them, but 
Yeah, people tell me I ain't rat, but I like it fat. <sighs> just wanna, I just hope this hair don't go off. Other than that, I don't care, you know, as long as everybody's safe and warm and everybody's in good shape, whatever. I keep hearing tree limbs falling. I hope I don't start falling bad. I got a pot roast on the stove at home. I hope we still got one. I like to go home and eat me a big pot roast and some taters and baked beans and cornbread and a big slice of onion. Don't that sound good? It does to me. But now, yeah. I fell all the way over that hill last night. Then my daughter got out this morning and went to the store and had to walk to the car about a half a mile. I thought we was going to check out by the time we got to the top of the hill. She wanted to go with me. I said, come on, you know, 17 years old. She got to the top of that hill. She was like, <gasps> you know. I said, you all right? Yeah. So we are all right. You come out of a warm house and hit this cold air and it gets in your lungs. Your lungs contract. You think you're checking out, you know. But, I mean, I walk it every day, so. I'm used to it. I'm like, man, I'll be all right. Yeah, they changed my hours at work, and they pretty much suck, but it is what it is, you know. You got to do what you got to do. got to bring home a bacon. And baby says, I hear a bird. Y'all hear that? That's the first bird I've heard in three days. I wish we could find it. But that on cue, wasn't it? I need to build a bird feeder, man. This man gets throws like this. These birds ain't got nothing to eat. I feel bad for them. They come on the porch up there and try to eat my cat's cat food. And and you know what? My cats will just sit there and watch them. They don't care. But. Oh, man. Well, I'll tell you what. I just thought I'd throw a quick video out there and show y'all some of this ass, don't I? Let me grab Show y'all a little bit more. I got some trees sagging bad right there. Look at that. That's the bold plum over. You can hear it crunchy as I walk. Oh, man. And y'all almost heard me crunch when I fell, but I didn't fall. But yeah, it's worse up in there, up in the tops up in there. Y'all can see it. I'll bring you another video. After this next storm hits, and we hope we can get this out of here. I think next week it's supposed to be up in the 50s and close to 60 all week. Now I can't wait, I'm telling you. That's quick. Just stand here and start gliding. Well, that's Buddy Isaac. I'm going to go home and settle in for the day. Y'all remember, wash them hands like you don't like them. Social distance like fast watch. And uh, stay safe. Call and check on one another every now and then. Don't be out in this mess unless you have to. Buddy has it. And I'm out. Get this thing back to the house.